show's coverage of Wednesday Night Baseball brings us to Comerica Park in downtown Detroit. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Boston Red Sox and the Detroit Tigers. It's baseball. It's the show, and it comes your way next. season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Now the first pitch. Back up the middle. And there's the first hit of the game for the Red Sox. So he's on base here to kick off their half of the third as we take a look at the league leaderboard in hits. And as you can see there he currently leads the AL in that department. Next to dig in, Cam Gallagher. And he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. Now the 0 2 pitch. Runner goes per second. Taken in by Scope. And this will wind up working as a sacrifice as he steps on first, allowing the runner to move into second. Next to hit is Stefan Jimenez trying here to plate the tying run from second. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do. He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Next to hit, Adam Engel. Base knocked to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Here's the 1 1. Drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out. All right, hold on, hold on, right here. On the barehanded attempt, gets by him here and that ought to go as a bunt single. Here's big Aaron Judd. Potential tying run for him at third base. Come set. The 0 1. A right back to him on the mound. And the throw first will be in time, so the Red Sox come up empty, and the inning is over. Boston strands a couple. They're down 1 0. Sox. Jane Mack, he singled first time up. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. First pitch coming, here it is. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. Onto the bullpen roof and gone. It's a two run shot to straight away left. 32 now for the season as they take the lead four to three. Oh, and that was really close to a long out. The left fielder had a beat on it, and he gave it a great effort, but he couldn't quite bring it back. Instead, it's a trip around. Jay Mack will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point.
first pitch of the A.B. on its way. And now a swing and a miss. And that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. Fastball misses inside. inside. It's even at one. They let a rip up there. Let's go. And it's fouled away. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin to win if he starts looking for it in there. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly. And the inning is... Now at the plate, James Mack struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see right if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Now here's the first offering. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Badu is right there, one down. Well, just an excellent job right here closing this one out. He just collected the first save of his career. Got to start somewhere. Nine to three, the final tally here in this one. Boston took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Matthew Boyd earns win number seven on the season. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleasant.